It's been quiet at the Wolves training ground over the last week or so, with most of the players enjoying a summer break. One player that hasn't been resting is Wayne Hennessy, who's been put on an injury rehabilitation programme over the summer. The goalkeeper underwent knee surgery after damaging his cruciate ligament in the goalless draw at the Stadium of Light back in April. Hennessy says he's pleased with his recovery so far. Five weeks yesterday since I had my operation, so I'm, I'm doing really well at the moment. I'm off my crutches. I've still got the brace on at the moment, but he's saying I'm weight bearing, I'm walking fine, so I'm doing well. Just make sure you say as well, it's not actually Freddie Lundberg treating Wayne. A lot of people might wonder if it is maybe he's, that's what he's gone into after he's retired, a bit of physio. <laughs> You're in the final of the voice, aren't you, by the way, as well? You're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great. Tyler. <laughs> no live performance, so. <laughs> and also, Alex, as well, these aren't birded tattoos there. He's actually got socks on. You yeah. might not really realise Believe that. it or not. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I want the best for my knee, and like I'm saying I'm getting I'm treated. Some of the best physios here as well, so I'm just saying. Um, quite lonely here sometimes as I'm working on my own, but just saying it's a good thing because obviously the physios are working me very closely, so it's a bonus. How's that feel when you bend it up? Yeah, fine, yeah. yeah. No problems there at all. The reformer. Just like a gentle warm up, really getting his knee moving, getting his muscles firing as well. Um, just like spend about five minutes doing that. And we're going to the harder stuff now. This is a, a, a muscle stimulator, so we put this on his quadricep muscle, and it, it active, it contracts the muscle for him, and he helps it along its way as well by doing the squat. And it just again, it's just like a bit of a warm up. It takes three minutes, and he gets eight squats in, and it just gets that that, that quad firing when we're going to the gym and do the, the heavier loading now. Um, I've been doing a lot of swimming and stuff. That's been brilliant for me because it gets my heart rate moving as well. But um, a lot of work for my knee. Um, like I said, I'm weight bearing, doing a lot of weights on it. Um, just getting the muscles firing around my knee so they don't go, they don't go really weak. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. Better than Monday? Yeah. yeah. Do I feel strong as well? Man. How did that feel? That one? No problems at all. It's a major injury. Um, like I was saying, I had my cruci I tore my cruciate and obviously a bit of my meniscus as well. So yeah, obviously because I haven't got a clue about physiotherapy. So if I had to do it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know where to start. But it's saying they're professionals and they've come in and give me the right. The right schedules to take. Really isolate it, slow it down a little bit. Get that full extension if you can. That's it. Again, number set of ten. You, you, you maintain the muscle bulk there and you maintain the strength quite well. That's why it's strong now. Well, like, you'd think that this would hurt because it's putting pressure on the front, but it's all right. This is really important, the hamstring one. Because that pulls the, the shin bone backwards, the hamstrings do help that. And obviously, with your, your cruciate ligament when it goes, it kind of moves forward the, the, the shin bone, doesn't it? So that's why you need to make that make sure the hamstrings are really strong. Allow that, that shin bone to pull backwards. That weight goes down through the inside of your foot, throughout range. Okay, so all the way up, slowly, all the way down, feel a stretch in your calf. We're just trying to target each muscle group, major muscle group in the lower body. And we split up his days, so today is like a, call it a loading session, so we try and strengthen the, the, the major muscle groups in the lower limb. Uh, so obviously this is working the calf, the last one was working the hamstring, and then we work on the quads and the, uh, and the glutes as well. It's like a fine balancing act really. You need to make sure you're working the player enough so that he feels like the muscles are getting stronger and it's challenging him, but you don't want to push him too hard and aggravate the knee, so it's getting that nice fine balance in between the, the, the two different extremes. What do you weigh about 85, 90? No, about 90, 90 yeah. yeah. So that's what you'd be wanting to get, because you think about it, 90 kilos. When you do a, 
a double leg calf raise, that, that's 90 kilos as if you're on the leg press. So that's what you want to get up to really at least, if not a little bit more. I see Matty on this, something you do is like leg press stuff, he's got the whole weight on there. When he steps down, I want his leg in a nice straight line. So in particular, I want his knee over his second toe. I want his hip over his knee. And I don't want his trunk moving at all. Okay, and I want good control in the quad. Nice, slow and controlled movement. So nice and slow, control again, again all the way down for your heel, okay, your right leg. It's all very progressive, what the, the, uh, the exercises that we do. There's only five weeks post-operation, there's not really a lot that we can do. At the moment we're working on technique and making sure his stability in his legs is good. Um, and then we progress as he gets better and his muscles get stronger and his knee settles down a little bit. We progress the exercise and then become more functional then. So all we're doing here, Alex, is just assessing the, the swelling, the amount of swelling in his knee. So look at the two quads together. I mean, it looks actually bigger, yeah, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so obviously, these are things that we're judging really when we do the rehab. We always assess the amount of pain that he gets, the amount of swelling afterwards, and um, yeah, it actually looks better now than it did earlier on. So mm -hmm. it's good. So we've got this machine called the Body Flow, uh, which aims to pump away the swelling in the knee. And at the same time we put the, the, the ice machine on the game ready machine, which again is just uh, ice and compression. Again, just trying to, to move the swelling away from his knee. In addition to the hard work he's been doing with the physios at Compton, Wayne has been travelling to David Lloyd Health and Fitness Club in Great Bar to join Matt Murray in the pool. He was like a whale. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Three seconds off. Hey, decent. You were worried. Bro. The big man's been brilliant. Um, like I'm saying, no matter what, he's at, always at the end of a phone call. But like I'm saying, at, at a tough period for me, he's been there, and like I'm saying, because he had that injury as well. Um, so he's been through it, and he knows what happens with it and what you need to be doing. And so I've been swimming with Matty, and he's just been brilliant. Like I'm saying, he's been with me in the gym and everything. So yeah because he's a great character as well, so it's always good to have him around here. Yeah. We've been going in the gym, doing our weights and then coming here and swimming and it's just good for Wayno because it's not an impact on your knee. Uh, here he is now. <laughs> we did it uh, last year with Kites when he couldn't run with his tendonitis. So, funny enough, we've just seen Kites at the gym here today. Um, and it's good because Adam first gets your technique and then once you get your technique, you can uh, start doing some real good drills and most footballers, Matt Jarvis is probably the best swimmer I've ever seen as a footballer. And most no, of the lads Wayne don't like swimming. Wayno's probably, no, Wayno's not Wayne, the, Wayne like... <laughs> Shayla Fignan is the worst I've ever seen. I've never seen someone with so many inflatables and still doesn't go anywhere and just sinks to the bottom. But uh, no, it's good for you, it's a good workout. So Adam gives you technique and then once you get that you can get some real good blasts in. Good CV, keeps your body fat down, but at the same time doesn't hurt your knees. So. Everyone's a winner.